Now, yeah, disturbing yeah. new information in the case of a Jacksonville mother, Brianna Williams. New court documents show she's accused of abusing her five-year-old, Taylor, before reporting her missing. The 27-year-old Navy Petty Officer is now facing two new criminal charges. News for Jackson reporter Janice Harris joining us near the state attorney's office to tell us more. Janice? Yes, Joy, definitely more disturbing details in this information that we just received from the District 4 State Attorney's Office. They now believe that they can prove that Brianna Williams did in fact torture and put her five-year-old child in some type of cage while she was still alive. New court documents show the life of five-year-old Taylor Williams may have been filled with neglect and abuse from April to November 2019. It reads, Williams did, quote, torture, maliciously punish, or willfully and unlawfully cage a person under 18 years old. The 27-year-old mother is also accused of tampering with evidence in connection with transporting human remains. This is Williams' personal car. Previous court documents show that decomposition was found in this car even though someone thoroughly cleaned the trunk. However, the new information does not confirm if Williams' car was used to remove the child's body. The 27-year-old has already been accused of lying to police and neglecting the child, but she has never not been charged with the child's death. So what happens is those people Attorney and legal analyst Randy Reap says it's possible no one will ever be charged in Taylor's death. Even at the lowest end, the actions of the mother had to result in the death. Reap says Williams' investigation could be similar to the Kaylee Anthony death case. The child's remains were found, but a jury said the mother, Casey Anthony, was not guilty of murdering her child. Reap believes proving murder in the Williams case could be difficult. I'll give you an example. They could have neglected feeding the child, but that doesn't mean that the child died of starvation. That would certainly be a type of murder. But if the child died of something unrelated to that, she could have also been neglected and died by some other means. A means that many want revealed for a five-year-old child that is dead. And we checked records with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. There were no prior calls of service to the home the child would have been at when she was alive. Also, we reached out to the Department of Children and Family Services. They told us they did not have any prior investigations prior to this child's death for that family. Williams will be back in court on March 24th for another pretrial hearing. Reporting live from the state attorney's office, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.